and gentlemen, we are back with more Walking Dead Season 2. Oh, I am so happy that the second episode finally came out. It's been long awaited. So let's see. Let's catch up where I left off at. Stop doing that. Alrighty. Alrighty. Okay, sure. What? Are you kidding me? Why the hell do I have to- Alright, sorry about that. <laughs> Whatever. Um. A little pissed off that I had to sit through that music again. You guys should be thanking me you didn't have to hear that song. Actually, it's not a bad song. What am I talking about? Alright, let's see what Clementine got in store for us this time. Loaded my choices. Clementine being a G. Previously on The Walking Dead. Lee! I'm freezing. Wait till we get up to Wellington. Then talk to me about Cole. I'm gonna go look for more wood. And get your ass jumped. I'm by myself. Bullshit. Krista, run! Deuces. Ah! That's when that damn dog bit me. Killed his ass. I'm out. Grab her. Let's go. Then I got thrown on the damn floor. So, since you're Pretty much on your own. What's your plan? Be out. I don't know. I'm kind of on my own now. Well, you're welcome to stay here if you want. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph. Think about it. Your Carver, what do you do? Kill everyone. Who's Carver? You were in the woods with Krista. Please. Twenty one in my water. Hell no, I wasn't giving him my water. I'm fine. I'm fine. Just, just lost my footing. Damn it. God damn it. Come this way. Damn it, you get your asses over here, both of you. No music at this part? Like, that's pretty silent. I don't know. I don't like it. You <laughs> guys better still be alive. He looked like he got away, so... And we out, we out, we out. Got me running all night. What the? Well, we shouldn't be able to get through that. On the downside, we can't get through them. Your foot, my neck. What you gonna do with that? What are you looking at? Your foot? That's what I'm... Your leg, your whatever. What's the deal with it? What it's happened? What are you going to do? Well, I'm going to do? Hand me that there. You got it. They said cutting it off won't work. Oh, Lee status. Oh, he's going high up. 
do it, do it. Ah, bleed out like a stuck pig. What are you gonna do? Carry me out of here on your back? Hell. It's just... Just give me a minute. Try to get some rest. And then wake up dead? Wait. There's a lot of stuff in here. Wake up dead. I'll try to find something to help. That fever's gonna start rising, you're gonna start bugging out. Nah, I'm good. Alright, that's gonna have to wait. Yep, I knew it. Oh, forget it. Alright, that's gonna have to wait. I'm gonna check my bag first. Oh, that saw, no, wait, hold on, what? No, give me the saw, give me the saw. The hack saw. Are you sure you don't want Pick to? it up, Clem, what are you, uh, Maybe I could. Keep it? That's what I'm trying to have you do. All right, red and gold, original flavor. Anything we can use? Food? Food's always good. Yeah, one of those. Probably tastes like pine tar by now. But I'd smoke a dead coon's tail if you had Will you show me how? No. Nah. Like smoke. We're in the middle of a shit sandwich stack this high, and you're acting like a goddamn government regulator? It's gross. Stupid. <laughs> Give me those. Yo, I will burn your leg. You gotta lie. Ooh. I ain't giving you that. No, let me stop. <laughs> It's about as bad as it smells. Now what? <sighs> Only wait. Until you become one of them? Bullcrap, I'm not staying there with you. I'm about to eat my face off and you want me to sit in here? Actually, I did stay in there. Okay, Clem. You got me talking all this crap and you're actually waiting this guy to eat you. This is a dream. <laughs> I ain't taking no chances. Pete, what's the matter? Pete? I knew it! I freaking knew it! Oh, damn it. I feel like 10 pounds of shit in a 5 pound sack. <coughs> Jesus. Stuck in this can the whole damn day. Something funny? No. I've been thinking. And I don't want to die. <laughs> it's a little too late for that. <laughs> I never thought I'd be the kind of idiot to say something like that. But there it is. I'm scared, Clementine. Jesus, I'm scared. What does it feel like? Uh, it feels like like a rope was wrapped around my neck. Getting tighter every second. It feels like I can't. <laughs> can't breathe. Lee would be Shoot. mad at you, Clem. Would you promise me you He told you not to get caught. I love that stupid kid. No matter what you think, he is a good boy. I'll try. I do He's what I could. But I really can't promise that. <laughs> That's right. Thank you. How are you gonna remember? He's about to be they dead in like two minutes. Dead. They ain't gonna find us. Where are you going? They chilling right there. They're not scared. Out of this. Deer. Gonna have 
have to make a break for it. I'll buy you some time. Yep, thanks. Thank you, Pete. You go find my nephew now, right? Wait for my signal and run straight to the woods. Just keep moving. All right. Let's get this over with. Closed it? Oh, wait. No, never mind. Leave it open. Dum dum dan dum dum dum. Uh oh. Oh! I pressed X, but R1 worked. Pete! No! I wonder what happens when you go with Nick. New morning. A house divided. Clementine, are you all right? No. Luke's not with you? Where's Alvin? What happened? We spent hours. Where are they? Pete got bit. What? What happened? Walkers. How else is he gonna get bit? Where were you? Where were you exactly? None of your damn business, Rughead. We gotta go. Just hold on a minute. My husband is still out there. Get the guns. Luke and Alvin went out looking for you. I told them not to go. Damn it, Luke. Clementine, can you can you please watch Sarah? I thought you were one of the Just distract her and don't tell her anything. She gets nervous. Just go. Hurry. You'll be safe inside. Just don't open the doors for anything. I got you, man. Be back soon. Damn. Look, it's you! What's wrong? Um, where's my dad? He wants to go get food. Clem, you're scaring me. He'll be fine. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> he, he's good. Are you okay? You good? What's the matter? I, I, I just need to... Throw up? Dude. What's happening? What's wrong? Gurgles. You want to see what I found? Does it jump up and bite you in the face? Will you show me how to use it? What are you? I couldn't find any bullets. If something's wrong, I should know. What if I have to use one? It's too dangerous. Everything is dangerous. I need to know sometimes. Where she got a point. You should let your dad teach you. Don't let him find you with that joint. You know, put that down. What are you? Don't do that. So, so, sorry. Sorry. 
the hell's your problem? Don't go out. All right, you know what, guys? Put that gun away, though. What are you? Oh, there's an upstairs. Okay, good. Good escape route. That didn't look like Luke. Now she's creeping around in a house that she was able to stay in. Look at that! That is not Luke. Go to the window and look out, Clem. What are you gonna see from there? That's not Luke. I. That's. The... Clem, I think I know him. Who is it? Yo. He can't see me. What up? You have to make him go away. Who is he? I. I, I don't remember. Just chill, just chill, sit down, relax, drink some water, want some apple juice? Hello? What up, fat boy? Who are you? Well, actually, I'm your neighbor. My neighbor? That's right. Ain't no neighbors in time like this. I set up a ways down the river. I'm kind of surprised we haven't run into each other yet. What's your name? Don't worry about it. Carly! What's your name? <laughs> My name is George, honey. I ain't shaking your hand. A pleasure to meet you. You mind if I come in for a bit? Yes, I do mind. Get out! Nice place. Is there anyone else around? You don't usually see cabins this big out here. Sure could pack a lot of folks in there. Maybe you can talk to me, all right? I'm not gonna bite you. But you might shoot me. Get out. Well, I'll cut to the chase. I'm out looking for my people. Seven of them, to be exact. What are their names? They've been gone a long while, and I'm worried they might have gotten lost. Maybe you've seen them. A couple of farm boys and an old man. A Spanish guy and his daughter. A quiet girl. A bit taller than you. Big black guy, this big, and a pretty little pregnant lady. That's a lot of people to lose. Tell me about it. This whole damn thing's a pain in the ass. Uh, can you get out? Get out! Like... I told you not to come in, and you still coming in here. Get out, man! Let this have been my house. Looks like a tornado ran through here. I don't ever do the dishes. Hey, well, believe me, I don't either. Get the knife. Through, or you've been here a while. Get the knife. Hey, listen, kid. I hope you're not one of those nuts headed up north looking for Shangri-La. Dude. Where does this go? Uh. <laughs> well, this is a real nice place. Kind of cozy. Why are you walking around, man? I knew a guy that always wore shirts like this. Doctor. Real smug son of a bitch. But a smart man. What happened to him? Let's just say we had our differences. Sooner or later... People close to you will find a reason to cross you. It happens every time. So what did you do? Well, well, White's in trouble. Three moves away from checkmate. What was that? Uh, Walker. <laughs> I thought you said nobody's here. Here. She better hang her little ass out the window.
slick little fella. I told you, nobody's here. Seems that way. Didn't mean to be rude. Couldn't just leave you here with a good conscience if someone was poking around, right? Sure. You did leave the front door open. Who's this? Must be someone who lived here. Must be. You have no idea who these people are, do you? I don't know what you're talking about. Let me ask you this. <laughs> when you met them, how much did they trust you? troubled you long enough. I can let myself out. Wait, who are you? You have a real good day now. <laughs> that guy is funny. <laughs> oh He's man. That was funny. Gone. So who was that, yo? What if he comes back? That was funny. We need to find the others. We can't go outside. Clementine. Yo. Sarah. They told me about Pete. You know where he is, right? Come on, let's go. No. A man was here. What? What did she say? Someone came to the cabin. What? Clementine talked to him. And you just opened the door for him? Calm down, Rebecca. Calm down? I am calm. You calm down. He was coming in either way. I told you not to open the door for anyone. Dude. Did he say his name? Did he say what his name was? Maybe nope. it wasn't him. You know damn well who it was. He said his name was George. George? That's what he said. Look, Clem, just tell us what he looked like. Uh, was he was a guy. Did he sound different? He had a big brown coat. Did it have a lining? A collar? I don't remember. Fur. <laughs> he talked about you, Dad. You're not going to hurt anyone, are you? Of course he won't, Sarah. Sarah, dude, relax. My dad's the nicest man I know, which is why he's not going to do anything crazy or not nice, right? You know these are bad people, sweetie. They will do or say anything to hurt us. All right, what do you think? Did it seem like he'd be coming back? Yep, it sure did. Picture? What were you doing taking pictures? Carlos. What? You need to calm down. Uh, you're scaring your daughter. I took the picture. It's my fault. No, I asked her to. It's my fault. Sarah. Hey. Just telling it like it is. We got lucky. He wasn't expecting to find us. Clementine must have surprised him. She hadn't been there. Well, he was too smart to stick around, but he'll be back with the rest. We don't have much time. He's right. Everyone pack up. We're moving out. Alvin, wait! Shut up, Pregnito. We have to leave now, sweetie, before he comes back with more bad guys. But it's gonna be okay. Let's just go get your things. What does he want? To bring us back. Bring what? What? Clem, I don't know what he told you, but William Carver is a dangerous man. He's the leader of a camp not far from here, and he's very smart. We were lucky to escape. Look, I'm sorry to involve you, but now that he's seen you, you'll be safer with us. We have to leave. Yeah, I locked my ass in a cabin. A shed, actually. We have to find Pete. We'll get him on the way out, Nick. Clementine, you know where he was, right? He's dead. All right. Everybody grab your stuff. Let's hit the road. What? At least give me the option to tell them he's dead. I would have just said it. Yo, your boy Pete got bit. I apologize. You know, I'm a very upfront and honest person. So if you don't like it, oh well.
And you said it was just up here? Yeah, just a little ways. I wasn't yeah. all crazy. Sorry if I gave you some shit back there. I'm just a little on edge. Uh-huh. It's just a tough time right now with the pregnancy and all. You and Alvin can probably relate. If it's not you I'm yelling at lately, it's Alvin. And then I'm in real trouble. Uh-huh, then you're going around screwing everybody else. I'm not a little kid. I felt the same way when I was your age. My dad was always... You wasn't going through a zombie apocalypse at my age. What are you talking about? I know you did your best back there. Mm-hmm. You know, none of us would make it on our own. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's hard knowing just how dependent I am on everyone. Mm -hmm. I'm not used to that. Mm -hmm. I'm not comfortable with that. Mm -hmm. I'm supposed to be a mom soon. Guess I need to work on my patience. Mm -hmm. Alvin and I still don't know what to call her. Or him if that man gets his wish. Mm -hmm. God help me. Any ideas? <laughs> how to walk the way to... It ain't your kid. <laughs> But if it's a girl, call him, call her Clementine. Why not? Why the not? There, that's where we were. That's where he died. Go, Nick. Is he all right? He's not in here. This he... was the last place I saw him. Maybe he's around here somewhere. He booked it on us. Oh! Open and stay in sight. Not listening to that lady, Rebecca. What the hell you want me to say? Oh crap. He cut it off anyway. It was too late. He was already turning green. Purple. Whatever. You know. You see him? 